I am left-handed. I have a glove on this hand because I paint just about every day, and I put a brush in here, and I hold a brush in in between my fingers. And uh, being able to bend my wrist back like that allows me to hold that brush steady, and the glove allows me to hold the brush without it slipping. Also, so for instance, with a fork, I uh, I picked a fork up like this. slip it in there. Now, when I'm around little kids, I'm, kids like to imitate me, so I'm going to be popping our forks and slipping them in the, our hands there. So I hold a fork like this and I eat like that. Well, if I'm going to painting, I hold the paintbrush the very same way. And instead of using this end, which I do for eating with painting, I use the other end. So I have a paintbrush. Here's the paintbrush. Slip it in the same place. So if that were a fork, I'd be eating like this. But with painting, I just turn it around. And I think I may have mentioned before somewhere in the video how my brake is at a, the C5-6 level on my neck. So it allows my wrist to do this. And because I can do this with my wrist, I can hold these paintbrush and a fork. One more level up on my brake. If it were a C4-5, my, my wrist would be limp and I wouldn't be able to use the paintbrush or the fork. I'd have to resort to mouth splints or some other kind of splinting. So, so that's a one of the breaks of fortune, you could say. And then for painting, uh, what I do is this. Um, and I have my, my uh, roll of toilet paper, which is like a rag to absorb the excess water there. So here, for instance. If I want to, on this particular painting, I'm, I'm working on filling in the sails here now. So what I do is something like this. That particular sail has like a gray, a gray blue on it, so. some red in the sail there. So let's try this. Uh, one of the things painting as helps me with is fine motor control. Put your heart in every day. Every day.